The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, welcome to the offices of Duke and Duke Auxiliary Office in Dallas, Texas. I was on the airplane yesterday, folks, with everybody with their masks on, and it was like nothing had ever happened. The only difference was the planes were very clean because nobody was allowed to eat. They did give us a bottle of water, but uh, considering the plane was bounced all over like a roller coaster, it was really not too much. Anyway, um, we're having a little bit of a down move today. And the key to this, of course, we talked about on Monday when the market couldn't get above that high of 40, uh, 4180. Uh, it was certainly different than the previous Monday. But uh, right now we're down at some major support. We just hit one standard deviation just a little while ago in the NASDAQ, and that's sort of uh, held the bottom here so far, so they still might be able to do it. The interesting one, folks, is gold, because gold sold off about $25, $22, and then rallied $27 to uh, make a new high. And, folks, this is very close to something very, very important happening in the gold market, and I'll tell you why, because open interest has dropped yesterday, and I don't know what's going to happen today, but if you take a look at the silver market, this is a real interesting one, because I, I, I when I look at the volatility that we're having here now it's just absolutely incredible what we're looking at here we're seeing a market that went up and made the 78 percent level and then dropped a dollar an ounce and then today folks it rallied 80 cents an ounce when gold was going up so uh, interest in in the uh, open interest in the gold and silver both dropped yesterday if they drop today uh, that's going to be an important thing to look at because we're very close to that 78% level in the gold up there at uh, 1900. Now, of course, you're talking to someone who's been a, a sold-out bear, and so I'm just uh, keeping a close eye on it. I need to cover just a couple of things here, folks, uh, with the uh, with the, the the markets we've been watching. Uh, those of you that belong to the 24/7 uh, uh, group, we had a real interesting move here. Uh, this morning again very very similar uh, to the gold market we had an order setting up there and it missed it and then it came right back and hit it and then backed off again so if you're in that uh, you're only risking 16 pips which is really uh, you know nothing more than 100 and what 180 bucks and i would i would lower the stop down to if it makes a new high on the day now just stand aside and the same thing in the december corn we had an order setting in december corn at the uh, 522 level and we hit 521 and three quarters and then rallied 13 cents so make sure you have your stop at break Break even on that one that way you're as close to break even as you can be uh, on these things so that's uh, that's what we're watching here today uh, great volatility everywhere folks I mean that's the real uh, the real uh, beauty of these darn things is they have so much action going on here and there that it really makes it pretty easy to uh, you know catch out some of these uh, patterns uh, we've had a situation uh, that we talked about I believe uh, on Monday and last week and that was the fact that, that copper had the potential, you know, for that 61% uh, retracement up there at 479. And we dropped uh, 22 points all the way down to uh, I, I, the last I saw it was 454. The ABCD on this measures to 446. So with and, you know, you can see that we're having tremendous volatility in all these things. And so you've got to be able to understand that uh, not all the time are these things going to uh, go, uh, you know, up or down in the right direction that you'd like to see. OK, now I want to uh, talk just a little bit about the um, the situation for setting up trades. I've had several people ask me about that. And what I try to do, folks, I try to line up what I think are the one or two best trades uh, for the day as far as looking at what the, the lowest possible risk and the best possible uh, probability. And today that was happening in December corn. Uh, we had a big rally in December corn yesterday, and it gave it all back and went and made a new low exactly where we wanted it to. That was at a 38% retracement of the whole move. 
And uh, the other one was, hold on just a second here. I can't uh, answer that phone, boys and girls. And there's no way I can turn the thing off because I'm not in my regular office. And uh, there's nothing I can do about it. So it's going to ring one more time, and then that should be it. But anyway, as we look at these, uh, when we set these up, we, we have to think about how much money we're going to risk because we don't know whether they're going to hold or not. That's the, the main thing of what we're looking for. It's how we're going to hold the market uh, you know, in, in bay in, in case it goes against us. And that's part of the reason, you know, what we're what we're doing as we as we look at these. So we're having a really nice rally here uh, coming off here in the, in the market. We're still down a little bit, but uh, this is an interesting one that we're having. And we'll, we'll have a very good idea of what's going to uh, continue with that as we go through uh, the rest of the rest of the morning here. So what, what I was mentioning that what I try to do is I look at what I think are the best trades of the day and that those two best trades of the day that we with, we focused for our 24 seven people was the euro and then also the um, uh, the corn. Both of those were just absolutely spot on. Now. Uh, you'll see here that other people have sent these out. I'll get these charts. These come from our friends across the pond here. And you'll see here that uh, there's where our, that was our number up there in the uh, British pound. It hit it, and then it's backed off about 40 pips. And so now you're basically you're you're pretty much in a risk free uh, your risk free uh, situation. That that's the best way to be, folks. Because, you know, if you if you're not standing there getting run over by a train, you got a pretty good chance of uh you know making some serious money and that that's what it's all about it, it's just not uh it's just not any more simple than that now every time i take a plane i've got this wonderful little uh, nano thing i don't know what they call it it's a little apple thing and it's got 11 i've got 1100 uh, albums on that uh, between between i the stuff that i have from napoleon hill and uh um, Anthony Robbins, and every time I go on the plane, and I, I do it at home too, but the plane is really good because I can listen two or three hours at a time, and I listen to those things. And as I was going through uh, the Tony Robbins material yesterday, I was thinking about and those of you that are out there that feels like you need a little bit of help here and there, folks, I, I will honestly tell you the, the main thing to remember is that it's all about the mental part of your game. That's what that cycle is all about and putting in your stop loss. And that's pretty much what uh, that what you try to do. So if you line up your trades before you and don't try to do 10 trades a day, if you start scalping like that. They're going to take you to the cleaners, man. These things jump around too much. You know that's that's the bottom line. You don't you don't want to stand in front of that. So uh, remind ourselves that that's what you are looking at. So keep in mind that those are the things that uh, that I think are relatively important as you look at these. So uh, set up the two trades or three trades, whatever you have to do. And then if you see something in the middle of the day, you know make sure it sets up exactly the way that you want it to set up to. You know that's uh, that's part of what we're what we're looking at here as we're as we're going through looking at these uh, trades that we look at uh, each time that we look at it. They, we're going to have Shane Smolian will be our guest at the break today, and he's got some great stuff. He's been so spot on on the gold market, and, uh, you know, this thing this thing went down from uh, – it it we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. rise and fall like the tides subscribe to basil chapman's newsletter the opening call and you too can ride the wave basil chapman is an authority in technical analysis his chapman wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984 TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, getting back to the um, mental part of this, I use the Anthony Robbins and also the Napoleon Hill things quite regularly. But uh, if you're interested in the Anthony Robbins, uh, you can get these on eBay and other places at about 10 cents on the dollar usually. And I've had these put on these little nano things, so they're just like little recordings everywhere. So it makes it really nice. So if you uh, if you want to do that, I think it's really good. I believe in neurolinguistic programming. The stuff I learned from uh, Anthony Robbins has been very very helpful. I don't know if you know this or not, folks, but uh, the Robbins stuff was uh, uh, Anthony Robbins is a very close friend of. Uh, Paul Tudor Jones, and he's on a retainer, $1 million a year. At any time that Mr. Jones needs to talk to Anthony, he does that. I happen to, to know that is absolutely for true. So we'll see if that's uh, going to be uh, what's going on here in these markets. Okay, now let's take a quick look here. And another things here, uh, yeah, Larry Larry Williams is his gold thing has just absolutely been spectacular, folks. You you just uh, it's it's really been amazing what it's done. I mean, he's he's called that thing all the way up, and I you know I, we talked about it here and everything. Of course, we also talked about the fact that you know Larry had one here. Let's just bring this up here since we're looking at this between just us girls here, and this goes back. This was done a year ago, folks. And you'll notice here that uh, he's saying the Dow Jones starts down sometime in late April, early May. And we topped between April 28th and the NASDAQ, and then the other one uh, topped on April the uh, 9th. And so uh, those have been, uh, you know, pretty accurate, you know. So I think it's, you know, the cycles work that he does is really splendid. Uh, you know, we try to have these folks on. Uh, and, and if they can't come on, we try to give them some of the information that they give us. So that's it. Regarding the... Uh, uh, uh oh, no sound. Uh, broadsword to Danny boy, broadsword to Danny boy. Come in, Danny boy. The chicken is in the pot. The eagle is landed. Am I on the air? Okay, ready to go. Looking good, feeling good, Billy Ray. Okay, um, we re remember the uh, information that we got from. Uh, Hold on one second. Well, I thought we'd lost sound, too, so I wasn't really sure. Let's take a quick look here at this chart that uh, Tim Boston brought up to us the other day when uh, he was on the air because it was uh, really pretty cool. You'll notice here the breakout in the gold market versus the drop in Bitcoin. And, of course, Bitcoin has gotten really hammered quite a bit. 
uh, in the just the last three days, whether it's related to Musk or anything like that. Now, people ask me, is that the end of a the, of the bubble, or is that a bubble? Or, folks, this thing has this just very volatile. That's all it is. I mean, it's it's has has some beautiful patterns. Sometimes they work, and and sometimes they work and they don't. And here here's one that didn't work. Let's just get this up here. You'll be able to see it quite quite easily. You have a perfect. Oh, oh just a minute here, so we get this up here. Now, this is true of anything that you're looking at, folks. You'll see here that you have a beautiful ABCD pattern right there, and you'll notice that the market gives it up, and bada-bing, bada-boom, and then down she comes, uh, breaking below the 382, breaking way below the ABCD. And so what you have to assume is you're going to go down to the next level of support, which is going to be down around the uh, 786 level, right around 34,000. I don't know. Wow, we got to 39,000. Gee, I didn't realize it had got to that low. But look at the high that we made back here on the 8th of May, folks. That was right at Right near a 61% retracement right there at just 59,000. And here we are, 20,000 under that. So it's pretty crazy to see uh, how that works. And it's going to be really interesting to see what's uh, moving on. But keep a, keep a very close eye on the copper and the silver and the gold. And, and the, look at look at the I, – I, this is really just totally amazing to me, folks, what, what this silver market has done uh, yesterday and today. The fact that we went all the way up to uh, 28 almost 29 cents and then we dropped all the way back to 20 little under 28 cents and then we rallied back but we never came anywhere near making a new high like we did in the gold market silver couldn't couldn't even get unchanged on the day it was still down 14 cents so that's telling me that be really careful up in here and if you do your chart work and every and i recommend everybody do this is we're looking at a potential here uh in that gold to, to make that uh you know much uh, larger uh level that we're looking at let's just get this up here you'll be able to see it because we were thinking this last week that we were going to stop at 1851 and we went through there like hector had no you know friends and you see the next one is 1897 that's the 78 percent level and that happens to be and this is the weekly too and we hit 189170 today so far you know they're still trading so those are a few things that you're keeping in mind here as we as we look at these things unfold so i hope that helps uh, as we look at these, but it, it's really amazing the volatility that we are getting. Uh, I, s someone keeps asking me, why do I go to break even on on some of these things? And, and the reason why, folks, is it's the amount of money that you don't lose. So if like today we had like a six hundred dollar profit in the corn so that you know that's a substantial that's a substantial move because the markets are so volatile so all i did was move the stop and we bought it a, a penny off the low you know that was the exact number it was a seven eight the 61 percent retracement of the whole range uh, of the last low and then 38 percent of the whole range i mean right at that number so that that's all that was and nothing nothing more exciting than that and so you buy it there if, if you, you risk four cents to be a farmer, you know, and, and this one happened to work. So now you're free. You you know, just walk away and don't worry uh, about what's going what it's going to happen to next. That that's the the primary reasoning behind all this. So I think if you keep that in mind, you'll be uh, you'll be far better off than if you uh, don't keep that in mind. That's the way I would think you would be looking at this. And I had something here I wanted to show you, and it has flat out disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. Son of a gun. Oh, this was a redo of that same order in the euro I wanted to show you because this was another one that was extremely active. We went all the way up to the number of uh, 2247, uh, and uh, then we backed all the way down to 2190. We dropped about uh, 50 handles and then of course went back and uh, finally got our order filled our order was filled just a tad above that uh, uh, 20 uh, uh, 102 25 level so anyway that's what those are just a few of the things that we're looking at here today we'll have Shane Smullion uh, on the air coming up he always has some wonderful things but I want you to uh, keep it oh we have to cover uh, just one second here oh we got a call from Oakland Michigan John are you there I am there Larry how are what you feeling today? Me? Great um, to have you back. Oh, living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass. What can I do for you, buddy? Uh, when, you're, when you show your charts, you'll say, well, you know, this was a 61% Fibonacci retracement. So yes. where do you start? How far back do you go with the fibs that you're using? 
You should go, you know, if you're looking at a chart, you should go, if you're looking for retracement, you should go to the lowest level that you're seeing on that chart. If it's a 15-minute chart, go to that lowest level up to the highest level and then pull it back. If you don't, you're going to see Fibonacci numbers from everywhere. So what exactly, you have to yeah. do is, yeah, you just want to find that your lowest low and your your uh, your higher your higher high those are the ones that you're uh, that you're looking at. So I, I I hope that helps, but you you just never know. Sometimes sure, they like don't. You're saying on a 15 yeah. minute, you don't go back to yes. a six month chart. No, you don't want a one year no. chart. No, no, you don't want to uh, don't, don't want to do that. What it'll do you get you get too count um, uh, confused, and you want to keep it as simple as possible. It's the lowest low, highest high. Look at the ranges in between. That'll give you your expansions of one two seven one six one eight, and you should be there. Okay. Hey, thanks. Thanks very much for all you hey, do. Thanks for calling it. in, John. We appreciate it. May God bless. We'll be back with Shane Smolian, folks. WolfTrader.com. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The US deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There's no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar's worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Shane Smolian, TheWolfTrader.com, on the line. How are you today, my friend? Good afternoon, Larry. How are you? Living the dream, my boy, living the dream. I understand you're going to be one of the superstars at the money show in Orlando soon. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that, but I'm definitely showing up. I'm a newbie. Uh, I'm well, making my first tour you, they, they've, they, they've got it filled, and that's, that's the first time they've had it filled in the two years, they told me. So I imagine oh, most wow. of it's 
because of you, so that's good. Hey, listen, right, tell Larry. the folks about this volatility that we're seeing. I mean, it's just incredible. You got any ideas of what's going on in some of these markets? Why don't you share with it what you're looking at? Okay. Uh, we'll start here with the fear and greed index. I, I like this. Now, the fact that it's running low is a good sign because it had been running at that 50% for so long that it's it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. But this is good. This means we could be in some type of a tradable low, possibly on the S&P 500. Uh, so that's good. That's actually showing us some signs here. And then this is the actual fear and greed here across time. You can see that uh, these, this, this is the upper range here. We can get up to the upper 90s. We can get down below 5%. So we're somewhere right around here. So we're definitely not at the ultimate extreme level, but uh, it's it's good. I mean, we want to see that if we're looking for some type of a tradable low. Uh, this next chart that I'm going to show you here, this is the actual forecast that I made in the S&P newsletter. And I think we're getting a little better at the forecasting here. So I said there was going to be a high coming in and a low coming in around May the 20th. I think we're still on track for that. That could be plus or minus a day or two. Um, so I think we could be near a low now. Uh, it's very, very difficult with the S&P to kind of pinpoint this stuff down. But uh, I'll show you on the next chart. This is the actual path that the S&P made uh, after the forecast there. So you can see that it's just so difficult because even if it does end up down uh, at this low down into here, uh, look at what you had to deal with along the way. You just had to deal with these wild whipsaws and these wild um, rallies and fadebacks and rallies and fadebacks. So, you know, the S&P 500 is just really one of the toughest markets to get a handle on. But, uh, you know, we do our best. And I think I think overall for the month we had a pretty good forecast. We, we got a good short trade in here. Uh, we were short since 41.57. I'm trailing that stop down now. So it's it could stop out. We have a stop in there about 40.96. 50. But anyway, um, yeah, S&P is quite a challenge. Uh, you know, some of these other markets are are much easier to to get a, a, a handle on in terms of what's going on. So you want to talk about the Dogecoin? Uh, I think we need to talk about the cryptos because they're certainly in the news. They have a slaughter fest going on. What, what are you seeing there? Well, I just want to Point, uh, go back to what we talked about last time on the show. I, I mentioned that Elon Musk was going on Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live, and a lot of times these these media appearances or these uh, you know headlines on the magazines and newspapers tend to be contrarian highs, and it turns out that that's what looks like that's what it was. Now this coincides very strongly with the seasonal pattern in cryptos, which is peaking right now. But I really think that that fits beautifully. If you're into contrarian indicators, that was really a nice. Indicator because he got up and you know made a skit and he said uh, Dogecoin to the moon. Unfortunately, he didn't name it Doggy Coin, but I'm still waiting for him to do that. He might do that next time. Mm -hmm. um, have you heard, have you heard rumors that that's really a joke? I mean, I've heard that from several people. That um, you know, it's uh, from what I under I'm not a crypto expert. I you know I do the broad based forecast, but for what what I understand, it has an original uh, algorithm, one of the original algorithms of Bitcoin. So it's not a it's not a joke. Uh, but mm -hmm. the fact that he blew it up so fast, I think, is what people were alluding to. Okay. From what I understand about it, I'm not a crypto expert, uh, you know. But mm -hmm. getting here at this chart, I, now you showed this chart earlier in the show, and I and I have been telling people this that I I expect a rotation um, out of out of uh, the other commodities and Bitcoin into gold. So you can see here, this is a gold and the dollar are usually mirror images of each other, uh, which is what we have here. Uh, but um, gold and Bitcoin have really been doing a great job of mirroring each other, too. Now, you mentioned on the show that Bitcoin and gold were different crowds. And I, I generally believe that that's an accurate picture. But what I'm referring to is, in general, the commodities that were inflating were, you know, were copper, were cryptos, were oil, were all these other uh, grains and uh, usually gold leads the pack on that. And for some reason, gold was just on the bottom the whole time. Gold was just on the bottom, on the bottom, on the bottom. And I think now you're just seeing a general sector rotation from multiple commodities into gold. So I think – and that fits beautifully too because the seasonal pattern on gold gets strong for the next few months. And the seasonal pattern on the cryptos gets weak for the next few months. They, they essentially mirror each other on the seasonal pattern too. So – you know, I think that um, I think there's a chance that the cryptos could be could be seeing some more heat here in the coming days and, and weeks ahead. 
Wow, that's really interesting. I'll tell you, that movie you talked about in gold, you said it was happening before it happened, and you should have a feather in your cap, my friend. Thank we you. have a question. We have a question sure. from one of our listeners, and that is uh, about. We have a new moon that we're over, I believe, uh, right about now. Is it uh, today or tomorrow? Or uh, the new moon, I believe, uh, just. Oh, maybe we're we coming just passed up. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We did pass it. Yes. Okay. W was that any any major significant in that one, like a super full moon or anything? That's what the question is. Uh, the super full moon was the, the like previous we have, one. We, we have previous G and yeah, yeah, that was the previous one. But that yeah. only happens uh, uh, sporadically when they're exact like that. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Good. I'm it was sorry pink, to interrupt. Go ahead. Go ahead, my moon. friend. Okay. Um, so just to show you, last time I talked about gold, I'm just going to show you like a step through of this. I talked about gold was getting strong on the Fed juice and on the uh, the Fed juice Skynet down here. So um, this was last time, and I and I said, look, it's getting strong. Uh, let's default to the Fed juice, and then this is this is what's going on now. Um, you just have a really really strong pattern building here, and and again, we got about three months on this for gold to continue to build its base. Uh, I think you know last year it was August. I think there's a good chance we could be headed up into the late summer again. Uh, this is just the comments that I've been writing to people. I told people ahead of time the gold was getting strong. Uh, Larry, I know you had that trade at that uh, Fib Fibonacci retracement. Now, <laughs> you mean my 30, se my 30 second trade? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just want to point something out to people that, and this has been my experience with, with trading signals. Sometimes when you have a perfect signal that breaks, what that yep. is, is that's a sign from the market that there's something very, very large happening, much Amen. larger than. Amen, yeah. brother. So, Amen. So, so, so when a signal, I call that breaking a signal. In other words, the signal was good. It just it broke, and when that happens, I, I think you know my experience has been usually the market's telling you there's something very very large going on because that was a perfect setup that you had there on that trade. Yeah, from that. I always tell standpoint. people whenever I have a perfect one, get ready to go the other way. So it's always <laughs> uh, always remember to do that. So continue, please. Oh, we got okay, a break so, coming up. Tell sure. tell us more about what are you going to be talking about at the money show? You you're going to have what a couple sessions, and what, what's your, what's your theme going to be? Well, I'm going to talk about the history of the Fed juice since 2009. I'm going to focus more on the S&P 500, and then I'm going to talk about the evolution of it, how it started, where we got to, and then how it just changed again uh, in October of 2020. So wow. it's it's a it's an evolving thing, but we're trying to keep Good. up with it. Good. That's great. I think you'll be you report back to us and what happened. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Hey, we'll take a break here. We'll be right back with the Wolf Trader himself, Chance Smolian. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Give it back, folks. We're talking with Shane Smolian, the wolftrader.com. And we had a caller from Seattle. Sam called in from Seattle, and his question was he couldn't wait, but his question was Do you see another high in the stock market sometime in late June? Hmm. Maybe we've lost. Uh, checking out a broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword. Hello, I'm, to I'm back. I'm back. Can you hear me? Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, the, somebody called in from Seattle asking, is there another chance for another high in late June in the stock market? Late June. Well, I, we do come into a little bit of weakness this summer, but the problem is that when we're dealing with forecasting, it really depends upon what the Fed is doing. And my my suspicion is they will really ratchet things up here. Uh, so. It wouldn't surprise me if the S&P is starting to head back up by late June. Uh, but, it, you know, it's really a combination of balancing the Fed against what the cycles are doing. I, I think we're in a bull market. I think this is a temporary pullback. But, you know, to put a time frame on that, it's kind of tough. But I think ultimately we will see uh, mm -hmm. new highs again. Okay, great. That's fair enough. Continue, please. Uh, this is the dollar juice. This is another indicator that we have that measures the relative strength of gold to the U.S. dollar, this has been in a buy since uh, May the 6th. Both of these have done excellent in terms of long-term profit uh, versus just long gold. I mean, because this trades long and short. So both of these are good. Both of these are in a buy. I mean, this is just a really solid bull market across the board. Uh, gold miners, we track this too. This is also in a buy on the Fed juice. So no matter how you slice and dice it, uh, gold is, is strong. Now, now, silver, as you mentioned, is a laggard. Uh, it is getting weak. And I think what's happening is we're getting an interweaving process here where one is strong, the other is weak. But at some point, I think gold and silver are, are both going to get strong together. And I think when that happens, you have a you have a setup at least for a very nice run uh, in, in the precious mm -hmm. metals. I know everybody loves gold so much, but I want to talk mm -hmm. about the S&P and uh, just to talk about, you know, the reason we're able to forecast this decline this week is because you know we it's not magic we use a combination of statistics and cycles and this was the weakest uh, week for the S&P so this is something that I put out in the actual newsletter uh, this is just statistics for this month but the statistics this month this is the weakest week for the S&P 500 um, so we expected this week to be weak and since the Fed is also weak uh, that plays in the, these patterns tend to play out very nicely when the Fed gets weak and then we can actually zoom in even more. Uh, these are daily statistics that we run, and I run these for each symbol. Uh, and we have three columns here. The first one is what's the percent chance that the market's going to be up, or what's the ranking? What's the chance that it's going to be a big move? And what's the chance that it's going to reverse from the previous day? So we look at these every day. And uh, you, can, Larry, I told you yesterday this was yesterday was the largest yeah, statistical yeah. chance of 2021. <laughs> you, you flat out Flat out dead, boys and girls. I can tell you that. <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> yeah. So, so we just come. So we're just kind of zooming in. This is the weakest week of the month. 
Tuesday was the weakest day of the week statistically, right? So we expected yesterday to be down. It was the highest statistical chance for the market to go down. Today is the second highest. So, But tomorrow and Friday, you can see those are the highest statistical chances. So when we put this information together, we can see that it's very reasonable to think that the S&P will try and bounce. And I do expect our friend, the Fed, to come in and, and, and you know, to, to start to boost these markets. So, um, you know, right now, this is, this is a snapshot. Obviously, the market has rallied since, since this point. Uh, but, I do, you know, as of now, I, I don't have all the Fed data because I, I did this early. But I do have the Fed use Skynet starting to come into a buy pattern here, possibly for today. So that would fit. When we put all the pieces of the puzzle together. That would fit beautifully with tomorrow being a positive statistic. Now, these are not 100 percent, but whoa, this whoa, is whoa. just kind of. They're not 100 percent? They're not. They're not. Oh, shut the front door. I'll have to talk about my money back guarantee. Yeah. Only if they could only be 100 percent. Right, partner? Absolutely. <laughs> Please, I'm sorry for interrupting, but uh, it, it's it's really interesting how you do these numbers. And I, I actually I my hat's off to you. So please go ahead. Sure. So, OK, so we put all these pieces of the puzzle together and the Fed has been weak. So this blue arrow here, here, this is the internals of the Fed that I track. And the Fed use 3.0 has been in a cell and, and we have the Fed use Skynet in a cell. This green arrow is the double optimized lunar cycle. So we really had a big weight of evidence pointing to the downside. Uh, and look, it took all of this energy just to push us down just this little bit. So that's mm -hmm. how strong the S&P is. So, you know, to get an opportunity to short this thing, you really just have to have all of the pieces almost perfectly together or forget it. It's just it's just, it's a difficult market. It is a difficult market. Uh, I can tell you that from the day it started, August the 16th of 1982. We used to name it the stop and pee, and I'm not going to tell you the reason behind that. <laughs> we have another questioning uh, from one of our listeners, and that's about the Treasury bond market, referring to TLT. Do What do you see for interest rates in the near future? Well, if we look at the actual solar cycle on that, that solar cycle is actually headed down until it makes a low or the seasonal pattern makes a low around early June uh, on, on the TL, on the bond. And then it heads higher through uh, late August. So it, it heads higher through late August along with gold. So it, 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 the cycle of the bonds pretty much tracks what gold is doing. Uh, so it's it's possible that this, this could um, hang around and – you know, I would look for that high, like I said, in in mid to late August, and then the bonds go on to a slide from August all the way down until December of 2021 in terms of the actual the solar cycle. Very good, very good. That's interesting. We have one other question that is about the foreign exchange. Is the U.S. dollar going to have any friends this year? Well, U.S. dollar. Um, the U.S. dollar right now is coming into some type of a solar solar or annual peak, okay? So uh, the fact that we're declining into a peak, I'll show you a chart here. I actually have a chart here with the dollar here. Let me move this out of the way so you can see it. But um, we are declining into a, a peak, okay? So when this happens, that's a negative divergence. So so what this means is that if if the dollar is declining into a peak like we see here on the screen, that means that generally there's weakness there and we can expect more weakness. Now, I like that scenario because it, it generally goes along with a, a strong gold market. Uh, and, and so that, that would be good uh, if that occurs. So I, I think in general right now the dollar looks weak right now. Uh, mm -hmm. But it does reach a low in, in August. Right, And again, that's right around when gold reaches its high. So these, all of these markets should move in tandem together more or less. Hmm. Well, they certainly seem to be. I mean, the volatility is what's spectacular. We're seeing it in corn, soybeans, you know, everything is just really jumping around, which is for pattern recognition. Fibonacci swing traders, it's pretty good uh, to getting filled. That's the problem sometimes because you hit, have the order sitting there perfectly and you still don't get filled, which we had happen once last week. Uh, tell us, the folks, if they want to go to the Orlando show, how do they, uh, how do they go about uh, getting in there to see you? Uh, you can go to themoneyshow.com and then you, you search on the Orlando hey, Show. I'll pull a slide up of it next. Oh, wait, so wait, wait. Uh, before you do that, uh, you, there's Mike from uh, Florida is calling in. Mike, you uh, on the line with Shane Smolian? Yes, I am. Go right ahead. Okay, Shane, I really admire your work, what you do with uh, tracking the Fed juice. 
Um, Thank you. I, I heard you say that you think that the S&P might be at a low now. Do you think this will be the yearly low or do you think this will just be a short term low and then we bounce up and make a lower low like later in the year? We'll be right back. I'll get back with you after the break. Stay with us. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Shane Smolian and Mike out of uh, Orlando. Uh, not Orlando, but someplace in uh, Florida. Sorry, Mike. Please go on yeah. with your question. Okay, yeah. My question was for uh, Shane. I heard him say that he thinks that the S&P might be at a low, uh, like into the 21st of May. Does he think this would be the yearly low, or does he think that this would just be possibly like a short-term low, and then we bounce up and then make a lower low, um, you know, like maybe like around October? Um, so I know Shane uses, this, you know, the astro cycles and everything. So I'll let you talk, Shane. Well, it looks like we've lost him again. I don't know what happened is. So once you get to be a big star down there in Orlando, you know, it's harder to get these guys on the air, you know. <laughs> I think he's probably looking for a, you know, I'm just guessing, but I would be guessing that they'd be looking probably a short-term bottom in here would be yeah. what I would be thinking. So that's uh, that's my guess because he was talking about the, the fact that the market had a really strong probability of selling off in today, and that's what he was looking for was a one-day sell-off. So I'm pretty sure that's what he was talking Hello? about. But ah, I was I was answering the question for you. Please continue. Is this a short term low or is this the low of the year? 
Well, I think it could be the low. It could be the low uh, of the year. It could be because if you look at this uh, actual weekly time frame, this this is why I'm such a bull on this S and P. I'm a super bull on the S and P. Uh, and if you look at the Fed use here, you can see the Fed is at all time peak powers here. Uh, and I don't see that letting up anytime soon. So, I mean, whether it makes a low now or a few, you know, in a few weeks, I, I just think that this is so strong on the weekly time frame that I can't, I, it's hard for me to be anything but bullish on this. I, I just think that um, we are just in, in, in the long term picture. I think we're in a bull market and, and it's really tough to pick these little, little pockets where we get these dips. But I think long term we're bullish. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Tell the folks how they can reach you, my friend. Sure. Uh, well, you can head on over to the website, uh, www.freemoves.com, or check us out on, on YouTube, Move Freedom Features.